What's up everybody, it's Jared from Merch Bike and Board, and I'm very excited today because this is a custom Moots Route YBB. Very interesting bike, we've been built up for a customer. I'm not gonna take it for too much of a joyride because I want them to be the first person to ride it, but you better believe I did some wheelies around the parking lot over the last few minutes, and it is a very swanky bicycle. In this video, we're gonna talk about the specs of this bicycle, a little bit about the history of this bike, because I always think that's interesting, how you would go about potentially building out a bicycle like this. Last but not least, a few interesting quirks and features because there's a lot of them on this bike to talk about. Without further ado, Moots Route YBB. Let's talk about the logo real quick. I think one of the coolest things about this bicycle is this awesome little head badge on the front of it. A lot of steel bikes from back in the day had custom head badges. The manufacturers like spent a lot of time and effort into making these really cool like cast or stamped head badges out of metal. It was like this thing that people collected. I don't know. Gone are those days, unfortunately, but not with this brand. Moots is still making a head badge and on the head badge is the Moots logo, which is a little reptile riding a bicycle. Now, where does that reptile come from? I'm going to tell you. Ken Erickson, who started Moots in 1981, was riding on the school bus one day when he was just a wee lad, and on his pencil, he had a little green alligator as an eraser. As we all know, kids are bullies, and the kids were bullying him about that eraser. And one kid went so far as to pull that eraser off the pencil, take the kid's pencil, and jam the pencil through the little green alligator on top of his eraser. Now, kids will be kids, obviously, and they yank the pencil back out of the eraser, and every time they would squeeze the alligator eraser from then on, it would make a sound like, Moots. Kent surpassed this young bully, obviously, in great fashion. Started the bicycle company Moots, used the alligator as the logo, and used the sound that the pencil eraser made, Moots, to name his bicycle company. Pretty cool. Very quickly, I have a shameless plug to ask. Number one, please hit the subscribe button. We are desperately climbing our way to a thousand, and we need your help to get there. Beyond that, the bike reviews seem to get the most love on this channel. So if you have or know anybody who has a cool bike that you think we'd be interested in reviewing, don't worry, we won't roast it too bad. Shoot me an email, jpearson at berkshirebikingboard.com or let one of us know so that we can get something on the schedule because we love doing these bike reviews. These bikes are interesting and unique and match the character of the person that rides them, which I always find fascinating. Put gel in my hair today. Without further ado, Moots Route YBB. This is basically a custom build, and I'm gonna go through all the specs and why we chose the specs for this bicycle and what makes them cool. First, frame set. So Route YBB frame set. Basically, this is Moots' frame that has a little bit of suspension in the back. They didn't actually build this for the gravel roads out in Steamboat, where Moots is based out of, because in Steamboat, they have what's called the champagne of gravel. Basically, their gravel roads out there are perfect. They're smooth, they're rolly. I've been lucky enough to ride out there and actually visit the Moots factory, and it is beautiful gravel riding out there. But what their New England customers wanted is something with a little bit more squish because the gravel out here is quite rugged, rocky. It's a little bumpier. I mean, this thing is getting pretty close to a cross-country mountain bike as far as I'm concerned. Most interesting part about this frame set is basically this little mini suspension here is a big reason why Moots ended up switching to titanium. So Moots was started in 1981. They were making steel bikes. And early on in the, in the history of Moots, they started making a steel bike with this little squishy thing in the back here. We'll call it a rear suspension. And what was happening is because the steel was flexing so much under this little squish that the frame were cracking. Moots then switched to titanium to make this particular bike and they liked titanium as a frame material so much, well, the rest is history. Wheels and tires in this bike. NV 3.4 carbon wheels laced up or sitting on Gravel King 700 by 50 millimeter tires. My particular favorite tire when it comes to riding in the gravel. Why do I like them? Because they're lightweight. Even a big tire like this is pretty lightweight. Very cool tech in the tires. Tubeless. They're also very affordable, which is pretty cool, and I love the tread pattern. I think it rolls really well, and when you lean it over, it actually hooks up on the dirt or the snow pretty well, which is pretty awesome. And the coolest thing about these tires being 700 by 50s is, to me, is, is not even so much the width. Like, the width is really nice, but the cooler part is the actual diameter of the tire is so large that this thing is going to roll over just about anything, which is great for New England out here. It's like, when the roads get bumpy, this thing is going to really shine. Okay, force group sets. Basically, when you go on the Moots' website, they have different kind of packages to choose from, and then you can kind of customize it from there. So this is basically a SRAM force access group set. So the shift levers, calipers, rotors are force access. Crank set is force access with no power meter, except for there is dual-sided Garmin power meter pedals on this bike, because that's what the customer wanted. And then the back is where things get a little bit more interesting. They kind of call this a mullet setup nowadays. So it's 44 tooth chain ring in the front, and then a SRAM X01 Eagle rear derailleur with a 1052 tooth X01 rear cassette. So that makes your smallest gear basically a 4452, which is crazy. Envy wheels, Envy kind of cockpit essentially. These are Envy AR aerodynamic handlebars, which are sweet. They're very nice and they look good on the bicycle. Another thing you customize with Moots, and this is how they really dial in that fit for you, is that this is a custom Moots titanium stem. A particular person wanted to 
to sit in a certain way. So they basically made the stem to kind of round that out. So this is a 120 mil stem at a negative six degree offset. And there's these beautiful titanium spacers in here. I mean, the fit and finish on this is unparalleled. The touch points of a bicycle for me are super important. This is basically a WDB Times Moots collaboration gravel saddle. Then we have NV AR carbon handlebars to match NV 3.4 carbon wheels. I love deep dish carbon wheels on a gravel bike. I think it looks so cool. Lizard skin handlebar tape. The other thing that's super unique about this bicycle and arguably one of the most important things in regards to comfort is this SRAM reverb dropper post. So this basically pairs into the SRAM axis system. It is a 75 millimeter dropper post, which is kind of cool. The coolest part about it that I think nobody knows is that rear derailleur is actuated by the two shift levers. Right shift lever goes, makes it harder to pedal. Left shift lever makes it easier to pedal. But if I hold them both down, if I press them both, it's a dropper. Cooler than that is if I press them just for a second, it actuates basically suspension mode. Then I have suspension in the C post as well as suspension in the rear. You can almost call it dual rear suspension rear end on this bicycle, which is super, super cool. Everything on this bike in regards to fit and finish has been done super, super clean. The YBB suspension, there's this perfect little bolt cluster right here. Those two bolts come out, the frame separates a little bit. You can pull the elastomer out, replace it. I mean, it's just so clean. And then same thing up here on the stem, like it just, the, the whole thing is just super dialed looking. Like all the little like metal machine parts I think are really fun to look at. The build quality is unreal. Another quirk and feature that I think is super cool. So when you order this bike and you spec it out with a particular group set, that's basically how they decide how to drill the frame. So this bike being a SRAM axis version, you only need report for one cable through the frame because the rest of it's wireless. So this rear cable goes through this beautiful little tube that's basically stuck into the frame is what it looks like almost. And there's another port on the bottom that does the same thing. So there's no extra holes or anything on this bicycle. It's super clean. It's like perfectly made for this. One of the things that I'm super obsessed with lately is like cable routing because everyone does it really differently, especially now that it's like internal and handlebars are internal. This thing has the front end external, which I like. I think it looks good, honestly, especially on a bike like this that's kind of nostalgic looking. And then it comes through perfectly through the down tube and then it exits the bottom bracket because it's actually external cable routing from the bottom bracket all the way down to the rear caliper because this rear caliper is another cool part of this bicycle is 3d printed why is it 3d printed because that's the way that moots feels like they can get the face that the brake caliper sits on to be perfectly flat so why is that important well have you ever had your disc brake rotors rubbing and you can never seem to get them right? The reason for that is because the position where your rear brake caliper sits on the frame is not perfectly flat. So if it's a little off, your caliper will sit a little cocked to one side. When your rotor runs through, it actually rubs on that caliper. So this is Moots's way of making it be a perfectly level fit, which is why this frame set costs quite a few dollars. On a bike made out of metal, I feel like a threaded bottom bracket just feels right. The people over at Moots building these bicycles do an amazing job. They're craftsmen. I mean, this is a work of art. This is not something that's being mass produced in a factory. And you know, the welds and the way that this little tube for the cable runs through the frames, like you can really see it. The devil's in the details. These are all made in America, which is super cool. It's a very pretty bicycle. How do you get one? It's not super easy. If you want a Moots, you should expect a three month time frame, give or take, from the start of that conversation to getting your bike delivered. And it could go even longer than that. Because what happens is you start by getting a bike fit. You should go to a local bike shop that has a fitter that you really trust and has a relationship with Moots because that fit person and that person at Moots is going to be super critical to you getting a bike that fits you well because most likely that bike shop is not going to have 10 Mootses in stock for you to sit on and try out with all sorts of different stems. You talk to the person who's giving you a bike fit about what feels good, what doesn't feel good, you know, how wide you want your hands to be, how you want your reach to sit, where you want your hips to sit over your pedals. From there, that fit person will take measurements, send them to Moots, and there's a collaboration between the bike fitter, yourself, and Moots. You get everything measured, fit, and finish exactly how you want it. Beyond that, you work with that person on specking out your bicycle, things that are cool like what color cap and headset and bottom bracket and seat post clamp and stem cover you want. There's thought that goes into all this stuff, which I think is super, super cool. The last part of this video is who is a bicycle like this for? This bike is for somebody who's buying a bike to put in their roster that they're probably going to keep for a long time. Somewhat custom to them. It's unique. It takes a long time to get it. There, there's a whole process into it. And most of the people that we know that we've sold moots to end up keeping them forever. We had one customer who had a moots and there was a really bad wildfire in california and actually their house burned down everyone was okay and when the firemen were sifting through the rubble everything in the house was destroyed except the moots frame 
the Moots frame was perfectly intact inside the house. It's crazy. Titanium is such a crazy material for bikes. It really goes to show how strong it is. So that special customer wants something cool, wants something that doesn't that everyone else doesn't have. This bike in particular, New England chunky gravel, a little bit of mountain biking is really what this bike is suited for. And it's special. You know, that's the best way I can describe it. It's a special bicycle for a special customer. And with that, like I always say, hit the like button, subscribe, round up for distance, round up for time. Thanks for watching.